Welcome back to Shane's DIY. Uh, today's quick tech tip <clears throat> on the uh, the on my Radio Master TX sixteen S is on how I use the auto trim function. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature, and uh, I use it quite a bit, uh, particularly on a new plane or, or when you've made some significant changes. When I'm expecting to have to do any major trim on a on a new uh, maiden flight, generally, um, if you just got to do a quick minor trimming on an airplane then i just use the uh the normal trim switches you know like you normally would but the uh, auto trim is cool you basically if you're not familiar with that uh when you get flying you have the uh you get flying and you have the the uh, the aileron or the elevator <clears throat> or rudder uh in a particular position and uh you need to trim it out so basically you get it flying straight and level with your stick where you want it <clears throat> and then while you're holding it there, you flip whatever switch you've established as your auto trim, you, you flip that switch. In my case, I've got it set to my SF, uh, which, my, uh, which I have moved my momentary switch. Come stand over here on SH. I moved it over here just because it made more sense to me, and that's where I like it. Uh, I use my SH toggle switch. It's a two-way. I use that for my throttle cut. But... <clears throat> but uh, the, uh, and, and that by itself is, is simple. You just set up a, uh, um, a special function, or you can even put in the global functions if you want, I think. But uh, make a special function for that. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you. If you go into your model, we'll go over here to uh, special functions. Um, and mine's a little different, and I'll get into that in a minute, but... So this one right here, in my case, it's using L3. But if you wanted to do a you know typical one, uh, the switch, you would just make that whatever toggle. So in my case, I'm using uh, SF. You just make SF your instant trim uh, in whatever, whatever position. So instant trim up, and then you would enable it, and then it would set your instant trim. Um, <clears throat> I do mine a little differently because uh, I had a situation one time where uh, I was flying along and, uh, I don't know, something got crazy or I got a little out of whack and I actually bumped that button while I was holding the sticks in a certain position. And the instant trim obviously picked that up, you know, wanting to re reset the trim. So, of course, when I let go of the sticks, um, the plane was just all crazy. So, and, it, and I didn't realize right away what I had done. So it took me a while to figure that out. So that was uh, a few moments of um, excitement and terror. So what I've done... And I actually kind of got a visual. This is a uh, this is a widget um, to let you put text-based uh, messages to a switch. It's called Switch Pro. There's one called Value Pro, but it, it's a widget. It's pretty cool. Uh, you know, if you're interested, uh, put in the comments below. I can do a little uh, video on that as well, but uh, I won't get into that here. I'll try to keep this short and sweet. Uh, I, anyway, so I've got auto. I've got an arm and disarm for auto trim. So if you see my SB button here. In the top, the uh, up and the middle positions are disabled. If I flip this down, my auto trim is armed. And now, if I flip the switch, it says auto trim set. And I made some audio messages, uh, audio tracks to verbally say that. So when I'm flying around, unless I'm ready to do auto trim. It just says deactivated. I didn't do one that says auto trim, just deactivated. But uh, anyway, um, so unless I'm ready to use it, I can disarm it, and I don't have to worry about bumping that switch. So it's only there when I'm actually doing it. So if I'm doing a maiden flight, I'll go ahead and I'll arm it, and then I'll do my flight, and then I'm prepared. I know when I'm ready to do it, I can just flip my auto trim switch set, and uh, <clears throat> and all's good. Um, let me get into real quick how I did that. So you click the model, and uh, it's pretty simple. You're just going to go through. Uh, let's set up a logical switch. So the only logical switch that's for this is my LO3. And it's just an AND. So my SB switch, which is this one, has to be down. And uh, SF. Uh, 
towards me. So when those things are both true, that's down and that's uh, down, uh, it will activate L03. And you can see that when I, if you watch the icon there, when I pull the SF button, it turns on yellow. So I'm activating L03. All right, let me back out of that. Now we'll jump over to the special functions. And there's a few of these over here. It's pretty simple, but most of them is just playing the tracks. Okay, so first one is LO3. So that's what I just showed you. When LO3 goes active, it sets my instant trim. So you just set uh, when LO3, the instant trim, and you gotta make sure it's enabled. <clears throat> Next one is, uh, Jumped out of the way. The next one, when L3 turns on, it plays a track, uh, and that's trim set. And of course, do your uh, exclamation point, you know, 1x, that way it doesn't play that when you first power up the unit. And then I have uh, two of them tied to my SB switch. So when SB is down, it plays my trim armed, my auto trim armed message. Again, uh, now that one actually does play if it's turned on, if I happen to have it armed, because I want to be notified if I accidentally left it on. And then uh, the last one is uh, basically when auto trim is not, that's where the exclamation point SB uh, down indicates uh, that's when it's deactivated. So it can be in the middle position or the up position, uh, and it deactivates that. So it only does auto trim when it's in the down position. Uh, and that's it. So that way you've got a safety in place so you can't accidentally bump that button <clears throat> You know even while you're on the ground pre-flight and whatever uh, If you bump that button while you happen to be holding the sticks it can screw up your trim um, Plus the audio messages let you know that it did happen So you don't just you know, you're not going blind all of a sudden you bump that you won't even know it and you'll take off Your trims will be all screwed up um, So anyway, that's how I do my auto trim. I think it's a pretty cool way to do it and uh, hope that's helpful to some people. Kind of open up your ideas. Uh, any other thoughts or uh, suggestions, put them in the comments below. If you have any other uh, things that you're looking to uh, learn how to do, uh, I think we all have fun sharing with each other the, the, the in interesting code and logic that you can do with this radio. So uh, put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care.